Hi everyone, my name is Monor and welcome back to Page Turners, which is our diverse book club geared towards teens and young adults. Today we're going to be discussing the book Counting Down With You by Tashi Buyan. But before we get started, I'm going to be listing some content and trigger warnings for you right here. And I will say that this review might contain some spoilers, so if you don't want any spoilers, now's your chance to click off the video. Okay, let's get started. Counting Down With You focuses on our protagonist, Karina, who is Bengali-American, and she has really strict parents. Her South Asian parents are very typical in the sense that they want her to become a doctor, lawyer, or an engineer, but she actually has a passion for English, and that's what she wants to study when she goes to college. Karina gets asked by her English teacher to tutor one of the students in her class named Ace Clyde. Ace is your typical popular rich character that you would normally see in a YA romance. He's the complete antithesis of Karina and she's at first very hesitant to tutor him because her parents would freak out if they found out she was tutoring a boy. However, her parents are conveniently on a one month long trip to Bangladesh, so they won't have any idea that she's doing that. This grants Karina the most freedom she's ever had from her parents, and her grandma, or Dadu, as she's affectionately called, is a huge supporter in everything that Karina does. She also has a younger brother named Samir, who seems to be the favorite of their parents because he's into robotics and is definitely going to be pursuing that doctor, lawyer, engineer career path. And her parents seem to give her a harder time because of the fact that she does not want to pursue those career paths. So Karina agrees to tutor Ace, and at one point they end up at his house to study one day, and his stepmom convinces Karina Karina to stay for dinner. When Ace's dad asks why he hasn't seen Karina around before, Ace says that Karina is his girlfriend. So we have a classic fake dating trope, and Ace later explains that he doesn't want his dad or his brother Xander to know that he's getting tutored. And eventually Karina agrees to the fake dating plan. So throughout the book, we see Karina struggle with herself on two fronts, doing what she wants to do and doing what her parents want her to do. And as a South Asian American adult, I totally related to that, especially when I was growing up. Karina also has anxiety and we often see her counting down from 10 to calm herself down after being in very anxiety inducing situations, particularly with her parents. Y'all know the drill, the fake dating turns into to real dating and they are just so super cute together. Ace makes a playlist for Karina which is so adorable and he ends up helping her a lot throughout her anxiety attacks that she gets in the book. There's also a One Direction reference in there which I very much appreciated. Karina has to figure out how to tell her parents that she wants to study English when she goes off to college and she has to keep her relationship with Ace a secret because she knows her parents wouldn't approve. When her parents come back from Bangladesh, she tries to have that conversation with them and it doesn't go over well. But with the help of Dadu, they try again and they successfully convince Karina's parents to let her pursue English. So I've read a lot of books by South Asian American authors and I have to say this is one that I really felt very seen and represented in, especially when I was growing up and definitely in the academic sense more than anything else. I think Tashi did a really great job capturing what it feels like to be first generation child of an immigrant especially of South Asian parents really well so I hope y'all consider checking this one out. It was a really good balance of cuteness and conflict and the playlist is an added bonus. Hopefully you'll enjoy this one as much as I did and we'll see you next time.